call it my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your face Hello Aquarius, so this is your weekly reading. So my scheduling has been really off, so I'm sorry for that. I found this week it will go back to typical uploads. However, I've been extremely busy outside of Tarot. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to still see if I can upload at least three videos per day so it, I can catch up to my normal speed, okay? But most likely starting next month, it's gonna go back to like typical schedule. Um, but let's start with the tarot. Um, this reading is going to start from this today, this Saturday until next Saturday. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and the person that will be on Aquarius mind for this week coming? So two of wands. So the current energy, someone definitely see you and their future, okay? Uh, let's see who this is about. Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius mind. What would this person like to say to Aquarius? Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius mind. What would this person like to say to Aquarius? Five of Swords, okay. So this is someone who think they got it like that. They think that you really impressed by them or you really like them. So what do you like to say? This five of swords is about, you know, trying to win at all costs. It could be mischievous energy. So this is what they would like to say to you. So I don't feel like they're going to try to say something slick. I feel like it's more so they think that they're a smooth talker. They think like you are impressed or you really like them. Okay. So they're trying to say whatever they think that you would like. <laughs> okay. Universe, the person that would be on Aquarius' mind, what would this person keep hidden from Aquarius? Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. Ooh, they're the jealous type, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio, even though we have no Scorpio cards. But what they keep in hidden is that they're jealous. Could be a Virgo, too. Um, they want to know who else you're talking to, who else you're dealing with, okay? Let's see how this person feels about you. Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius' mind, how would this person feel about Aquarius' four cups? So they feel like you're not easy. You're not an easy person. They also feel like you're not easily to be impressed. So they're going to talk their game, but they're going to feel like you're not really feeling them that much, okay? Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius' mind, will this person's true feelings for Aquarius? Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. I feel like this person is going to try to see if they can make you jealous to see if that's going to make you more interested in them. Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius' mind, will this person's attentions with Aquarius? The Death card. Yeah, so I feel like this person is going to feel away because you're not as interested. So, could be Aries, yeah. Aries, Scorpio, or Virgo. Universe, the person that will be on Aquarius' mind, what action will this person take with Aquarius? Universe, the Hermit, yeah. <laughs> okay, they feel embarrassed. I might name it that. They feel embarrassed uh, because they probably thought they got it like that. They thought that you was going to be really interested in them, and that's not the case. You probably talk to other people. That's making them be in their feelings, Okay. And then they're going to try to see if they can make you jealous. And that's probably not going to work. Okay. <laughs> so this week coming up, I feel like they're going to be kind of quiet, especially towards next weekend. Okay. Because it's like they're going to see that you're not caught up with them. Okay. Let me clarify this position. Universe, clarify the page swords and five of wands. Okay. Two of pentacles. Yeah. They see that you're talking and dealing with someone else. Okay. So, universe, clarify the hermit. High priestess in verse. So, yeah, they're going to be quiet for a little while, and then I see them popping up again. Universe, clarify the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, they're going to be popping up, up again. So, let's look at the other deck. Also, I'm going to be doing all signs as well. It should be towards the middle of this video. Let's look. All right, so universe, give me a big card spread. What messages do you have for 
Aquarius. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me three cards spread. We must just see you have for Aquarius. Universe, give me two more cards. We must just see you have for Aquarius. Universe, give me one more card. We must just see you have for Aquarius. Okay, so first position there is carrot, opportunity or windfall. Then there is door. Okay, opportunities are waiting for you, beautiful. So I feel like the doors are opening up for you, especially when it comes to love and money, okay? Um, some of you guys are gonna be moving as well, purchasing your first home, will, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly, and then tower, solid foundation, successful effort, okay? So I feel like you guys are done dealing with people that have been wasting your time, time wasters, connections that didn't go anywhere, you're done with that. Um, then it's flute. Flute, disappointment, and a friend or lover. I feel like that's that person who might be a Scorpio, Aries, or Virgo. The t the energy that was picking up on the tarot. Where they gonna feel away because you are talking or dealing with someone else or a couple people. Um, heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Dark woman, dealing or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair and bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. And then there is dog close up, a pleasure with a close friend. Some of you guys are gonna friend zone them too. And then there is vine, so you got information that will help you. And needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. You see with the spell. Universe, clarify needle and thread. Well, family wishes coming true. So yeah, it could be relating to family. It could be relating to home, having stability. Okay. So let's look at the other dogs. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's look here. Okay, so universe, give me a three card spread. I'm to just see you have four Aquarius. Universe, give me one. Oh, okay. Okay, I got two Jenna energy. Let's look here. Okay, so universe, you can't think hard, but we must just see you have four Aquarius. Universe, give me two more cards. We must just see you have four Aquarius. Okay. Universe, give me a big heart spread. What messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, universe, give me all my card. What message do you have for Aquarius? So, so for the top um, row, you guys got Throat Chakra, Solitude, Seven of Cups, okay, which is the Hermit here, and then Four Wands and Heart Chakra, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like right now you are open to being in a relationship, but for the right person, okay? You're not in a rush to be in a relationship. Your heart is open. Um, I feel like you are vocalizing what you want when it comes to a relationship, when you're dating, but you're not in a rush to be in a relationship. Um, then there is no place like home, regeneration, um, poise. I get a lot of family energy. So this whole week might be very family centered, okay? And then never ending story. You may feel like there might be always something going on with family or with somebody at, um, that is a family member. However, I feel like you are um, keeping your composure. Aquarius um, is similar to Libra, okay? You guys are really big on family. Um, you guys take care of your family very well. And y'all tend to be like the leader in the family too. So I feel like you guys are just going to be in that, still going to be in that position, okay? Um, then there's the truth, six of wands, the shadows, you two, and earth, okay? Um, I feel like with that earth and the shadows, you two, I feel like you are trying to, like, 
heal family issues. Also, probably heal any like generational curses. Okay, breaking through those curses. This could be financially. Okay, um, that's what I'm saying. So let's really focus on general and family. Okay. So we got third chakra, no place like home, and the truth. I feel like whoever this person is that it's going to feel disappointed because you're talking to someone else. They're already attached to you. Even though they may have other options, they're attached to you. Then there's solitude, which is the hermit, regeneration, six of wands. Um, this is you. I feel like you're not trying to be wasting your energy and then also wasting your time with anybody. And then I got seven of cows, poise, and the child's you too. I don't see you easily impressed. Um, I don't see you attach. And that's not Aquarius energy. You guys are kind of like the detached sign. But probably in the past, you was attached fairly easily. And that's not the case anymore. And then there's a four of wands, the heart shock. We're never ending story in Earth. Let's see what the never ending story in this part. The universe clarifying never ending story. All that glitters. Okay. So you may feel like at this moment, you're attracting people. Yes, they look good on paper. Yes, they look good in person. Yes, they come from... You know, they, they have money and this and that, but you may feel like they're superficial. You want something to have depth, okay? So even though the suitors are getting better, you may feel like they lack that depth that you want, okay? So let's look at the angel answers and then the Capra deck, and then we'll go to the all signs. Universe, give me a three part spread. We'll let's just see you have for Aquarius. Got a lot of cards for you guys. Ask your angels, get more information. The situation will improve and let go. So, yeah, I feel like this is guarding family. Whatever it is, it's trying to say definitely ask your ask the universe, God, your spirits, your ancestors. Um, but probably you may feel like people have been blaming you a lot and you doing all that you can, but they're not seeing that way. So probably it's best for you to let go, okay? Universe clarify in the near future. Compromise, improving health. So probably later they will understand your point of view and they will be compromising, okay? So let's look at the Kemper deck. Okay, so you guys, give me a three card spread. I want to just see you have four Aquarius. Okay, privilege lady, high honor, unspent income, and thief. Community, universe clarified thief. Universe clarified thief. Adjudication. Universe clarified community. Main female message. This could be with housing too. Um, probably there's other offers. I see you're gonna, your offer is going to get accepted, but they might, there might be some competition. Like, it's weird. Now, this could be at work, too. Like, I feel like someone or, like, someone that's in a higher position than you, they definitely see you can be that leader. Um, and they're thinking about promoting you, but there's other people that just see you as competition. And they, like, trying to, like, you know, be kissing, you know, <laughs> kissing culo. <laughs> um... And that's what I'm getting here. Um, but again, whatever is for you is for you. I do see there's some competition. People see you, but it's like they're trying to see if they can steal what you will have. Okay. But again, whatever is for you is for you. So let's look at the all signs. Okay, so we are going to be using these two dots. I'm going to be starting with Aries. Let me just drink some water real quick. So universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Aries? Okay, I got the heart in reverse. So that could be that person who fell away. 
The universe is going to have an Aquarius and Aries pathway. And it's got that pathway house in reverse. Yeah, so you probably don't see them like that. You don't see them long term. Because we got two cards that represent stability, long term, and reverse. Okay? You may feel like it's just not for you. Okay, so I feel like this area is going to fill away because they see that you're not as interested or they just see that you're not like going to take them seriously. Okay, let's look at um, Taurus. The universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Taurus, rest and rejuvenate? Okay, so the universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Taurus. Twin labor expectations. So here it's talking about X. Not a current person, but I feel like it, it could be a current person too, but I see it's more so like an ex with the rest of Rejuvenate. They're trying to see if you're going to talk to them again. They are going to try to get your attention by trying to do like a nice gesture. Let's look at um, Gemini. Universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Gemini. So there is Virgo. So they are going to initiate communication. Universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Gemini. So there is community. Ooh. Okay, but this Gemini is for the streets. They might be dealing with someone else. They might even have a whole nother relationship with the Virgo. Universe cover for Virgo. The moon. Gemini. High Priestess of Truth. Yeah. Taurus. Yeah, they're dealing with a lot of people. They might be even married. Okay. Or have a whole relationship with someone. Okay, let's look at Cancer. Okay, Universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Cancer? So there is, I can cause increasing fire. This shadows you too. So this could be that current person. They're very passionate about you, but it could be jealous. That's their shadow. That's their shadow. They're a very jealous type person. Universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Cancer? Bad health and journey. Universe, cover bad health and journey. Despair. Yeah, so they need to work on themselves because their shadow get the best out of them, okay? They haven't healed their shadow, and I feel like it's more so jealousy. So let's look at um, Leo. Okay, universe, what's going to happen with the Christ and Leo? So there is Aries, High Priestess. They might be dealing with someone else too. The other person could be a um, Pisces or Aries, Pisces, Aries, cusp person. Universe, clarify main female. Thief, yeah, they're going to try to pretend like they're only dealing with you, but that's not the case. Okay, but <laughs> if the tarot part resonates, that's crazy because they don't want you to be doing you, but they're doing them. <laughs> Let's look at um, Virgo. Universe, what's going to happen with the Aquarius and Virgo? So there is Hill. Universe, what's going to happen with the Aquarius and Virgo? So this came out reverse marriage and reverse. So this could be someone, again, that you had a relationship with from the past. They want to fix things with you, okay? Even though you're focusing on moving on and healing. Okay, let's look at um, Libra. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Libra. So there is Leo. They want more of your energy, your attention, and time. Universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Libra. Despair, yeah, so they're going to fill away. So they need to work on themselves. Obviously, they may appear that they're very confident and they got this and that. They look this way, but they didn't work on their self-esteem. So this is someone when things don't go their way, it really affects how they view themselves. Okay, let's look at Scorpio. Universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Scorpio. Trust and intuition. Okay, universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Scorpio. Torn Libra. So I see this person is trying to put all their eggs in one basket with you. They're trying to really focus on you. Universe, clever, I trust your intuition. The Capricorn, that's calling the devil energy. Fears will make you question it. You know something is off with them. So they're trying to say trust your intuition when it comes to that. You can sense 
like something's off either their intentions or their energy is just off okay so listen to that so whatever you've been feeling about scorpio listen to it let's look at um sagittarius okay so you know what's going to happen with aquarius and sag so there is repentance stay focused remember where you started um, you're beginning to realize who you are in reverse. And then there is pain, man. So this is about past person. This person had, you may feel like this person was blocking you from your fullest potential. You also may feel like this person, like dealing with the Sagittarius, you was losing yourself and you don't want to go back to that situation. Okay. So this person is going to try to come back to apologize to you, but it trying to say you're better off with help this person. Universe is going to happen with Aquarius and Sagittarius marriage. This person could have been married. Still married, universe cover and marriage journey, or you could have been in a long term relationship with them, but they was doing them cheating. This person could have been ghosting you too. They're gonna come back, but it's best to move forward. Okay, let's look at um let's look at Capricorn. Universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Capricorn? So there is the Harfant. This card keep coming out for you guys. Unexpected income and occupation. Okay, this look good. You might meet a new Capricorn. It's going to be probably at work, at a networking event, a conference, or it could be somewhere where you typically be at work. So if you typically deposit money, um, like you go to a bank a lot or you go to this coffee shop a lot, you might meet them there. It's going to be somewhere where you typically be at okay but for work purposes um yeah i like this so i feel like this is gonna be a capricorn who is very stable emotionally stable and also financially stable they're about their work they're about their business they're not about nonsense okay and they're single so that's good let's look at um aquarius and aquarius Okay, so universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Aquarius? So there's rebirth and the truth. Some, something that you thought you knew, it's going to resurface again. Like, probably you know part of the information, but not the whole thing. So the whole thing will be re, will be revealed to you. Okay. Universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Aquarius? Saturn wealth. Universe, Aquarius and wealth. Marriage. Universe card for marriage, despair. This could have been someone that you trusted. I don't feel like this is only romantic. This could have been an Aquarius friend or co worker as well, someone that you trusted. And you probably wonder, like, why you didn't got what you supposed to got, or why you kind of stagnated and this person is like, like surpassing you, okay? Even though you guys are doing the same thing, have the same work ethic. I feel like you're going to find out more truth regarding another Aquarius, okay? Let's look at Pisces. Okay, so you guys got the Ten of Cups and the Scorpio. Okay, could be someone from the past. Okay, Universe, what's going to happen with Aquarius and Pisces? False person. Universe, clarify false person. The travel and occupation. So some of you guys, so for the single, you guys want to meet a Capricorn or Pisces. The Capricorn is a better option for you than the Pisces. The Pisces is going to pretend like they're like, they're not dealing with anybody. They're single. They focus on their work. But in reality, they're not. And also this person could be doing some shady stuff at work or they, they're not actually doing what they're supposed to do. It's actually a front. Okay. They into some other type of stuff that's not legal. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. They might be someone who like to be very um, obnoxious and also like to show what they got, okay? That's how you know that's them. So this person just is trying to be careful with them. That's what I'm trying to say. Be careful, don't really deal with them like that. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys for watching my video, subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal ring with me at queenfortarot at gmail.com.